Hello and welcome, I'm CS Penny and this is Automation. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, you know exactly what we're going to get up to. First things first, selecting our block and head material, as well as setting our displacement, which is going to be 3.4 liters or 3400 cc's. It's going to be a dual overhead cam engine, of course, it's an aluminum block, as you can see right in front of you. Here is the displacement in greater detail. Beautiful as displacement as could be. That displacement might look very familiar. It is actually based on a stroker kit that you could buy for 2JZ. Now, it is not the same size as any of this. This is just an engine I'm creating at the top of my head. As you see, VVTI on all cams of course. We're going to be running twin turbos for now. We're going to stepping that down as we go on. Now, the fuel we're running this thing on is going to be nitromethane, of course. Tubular race header, no cat, no first muffler, no second muffler. This is looking really awesome so far. Go back to the head and select our year up to 2020, of course. Then we're going to start addressing some of the issues that we have encountered. So far, it, everything is looking awesome. 1500 horsepower before we really start adding boost and change some settings. We're over 2100 horsepower now, just increasing our RPM rev limiter. As you might have seen in yesterday's post I made, 5000 horsepower isn't really possible yet in the game. I do believe it will be possible in the near future. The engine is looking beautiful so far, 2600 horsepower. Heading for that number we want. Now you see over 3000 horsepower. Adding some cam profile back into it to ensure that this thing doesn't idle at 500 rpm. It's not a diesel engine <laughs> or a diesel like engine for that matter. So we're adding some intercooler size to this thing, switching over to single turbo and running immediately into some issues. Now if you haven't seen, our quality sliders are going to be on plus 15 throughout the whole entire engine build because that's the way I do things. Now you see, almost back to 3000 horsepower now, there we are. Single turbo makes this thing lighter and we have our wonderful twin scroll manifold right in front of you. That to me is a good setup for a turbo, it's going to be a twin scroll. Because twin scroll you could regulate the air, you could predict roughly where your air is going. Almost 3800 horsepower so far. We are gonna cross that barrier to 4000 horsepower real soon. I do believe this is the most horsepower I've made out of an inline 6 engine in the history of this channel, anyway. 4100 horsepower. And as you can see our piston rods and of course our crankshaft is under some very very high stresses because uh, yeah it doesn't like going above the 2000 horsepower to the 5000 horsepower mark or getting close to it anyway so far i think it's looking good now this engine is not going to be a reliable engine it's not going to go into any type of vehicle it's just a simple engine that i thought i might create because engines are fun to create if you also think engines are fun to create please do consider to like comment share and subscribe because it really helps me out making these types of videos thank you to everybody who's been doing it note i am going to upload the whole of this august month i'm going to upload every day except saturdays of course because that's not really the way we work now, get back to the video. As you see, 4,549 horsepower. We can get a little more out of it, I do believe. There we go. 4,561 horsepower. That's looking beautiful. So let's slap a coat of paint on this engine, then we slide on over to our running of this engine. Now, what's my prediction this is going to sound like? A pretty modest sound is what I do believe. Color we're going for is a different type of red. I already done the blues, the greens and all sorts. As you can see that's more of a red pinkish color. That looks good on a valve cover of course. Copy that 
wonderful hex text or hex code in this case over to our intake manifold the timing cover and of course the exhaust header that's all we're gonna paint don't know why the intake manifold stop hat is under air filter that is wild to me like to see that fixed now that's looking good so far gonna go with chrome headers because that pink color makes well red pinkish color makes a pop real good so we're gonna do two pulls one looking at the engine and of course one looking at the graph so let's get into business now This thing sounds incredible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.